some dresses just don't fit. I'm afraid it's not gonna zip across her boobies. I'm on the second dress, and I'm having this same problem. Very nervous. I don't think I'm gonna find a dress at all. So far, I have two. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make this happen. This is pretty sexy. That one catches my attention a little bit. See, I think they're gonna love this. We have pulled everything in her size in the sale room. We know your mother loved this poofy style, but... Number three, Time Pressed Bride. Cheryl Cooper was a nervous bride, feeling the pressure mounting with each passing moment as her wedding day drew closer. She was struggling to make a decision about what type of dress to wear, and it seemed as though she was constantly going back and forth, unable to commit to any one option. Cheryl, hi. My name is Cheryl Koopman. I've come to, I brought with me my matron of honor, two bridesmaids, and an up. My wedding is in 74 days. It's a little, a little time, crunch. time crunch. Okay. Yeah. I need to wear an actual bridal gown. And the closer I got, I decided I really want to be a bride. <laughs> Mermaid, Something like, company in Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. The indecisiveness was beginning to weigh heavily on her, and she knew that she needed to make a decision soon. She couldn't afford to waste any more time as the clock was ticking down towards D-Day. Thankfully, Christiane, her stylist, was well aware of the time crunch and knew she needed to act fast. She didn't waste a moment diving right into the task at hand. With her expertise and experience, Christiane quickly got to work, helping Cheryl navigate through the sea of options and find the perfect dress. She knew that time was of the essence and she didn't want to waste a single second. Although the bride Cheryl knew exactly what style of dress she wanted for her wedding day, the real challenge was finding a dress in her size on such short notice. Randy and Christiane were aware of this difficulty and worked together to help Cheryl find the perfect dress. Cheryl is a difficult bride because her wedding is very... So I'm only limited to cancellation gowns, and, and we have a very... <laughs> What's going on? Okay, so her wedding is in 74 days. Okay. That is so cookie cutter. That? I'm really worried because this... I don't know where we're going to go from here. More right. modern and or like a, an off-the-rack dress, and then we... We went to Chicago on... Well, I think she wants the wedding gown if she can find the right one. Well, yes. we're going to do our, our best. Yeah. The and right, she's so tall. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the height. So we've got a lot of challenges on our little thing that we got to get through. I've yet to see a nude wedding, so... <laughs> Despite the odds, Randy's skills and expertise came into play as he refused to give up until they found a suitable dress. They searched through numerous boutiques and fashion houses, not knowing if they would ever find the perfect dress. Cheryl's styling team initially dressed her in a dress that was promptly torn apart by her entourage, leaving them with limited options. They then presented dress number two, which was a beautiful piece, but inspired ideas of alteration that the team managed to divert their attention from. Finally, dress number three was a success, with everyone enamored by its beauty. However, Donna was the only one who seemed to disapprove, leading to a conflict with Cheryl. Despite this, Donna's opposition was ultimately beneficial, as it convinced Cheryl that dress number three was the perfect choice for her. I'm concerned about whether or not I'm gonna find a dress. She doesn't <laughs> love this. I don't know. Okay. Is it the dress or the back? It's okay. It's not. You are killing me. Yeah. If it were me, I would want to know if something didn't work. It's hard to have someone tell you then, especially when you already love it. What did you not hear? <laughs> you are vetoed. You are outvoted. Changed my mind at all? Not one bit. You love the dress? I'm full in it? I don't want to take it off. Are you saying yes to the dress? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Number two, the five hour race. Selena Falkenstein is racing against the clock to marry her groom before he is shipped off to the battle lines. Despite having less than five hours to react, Selena and her stylists are determined to make it happen. While most bridal salons would shy away from such a rush job, this one is dedicated to meeting all matrimonial needs and won't let Selena down. Her mother desires to see her daughter in a traditional white dress and nothing can stand in her way. We need a dress today. Oh, yes, he's getting shipped off tomorrow and I gotta get married before five o'clock. My name is Selena Falkenstein and I am 29 years old. Oh my gosh, here's the bride.
Five o'clock today. Today. Yes. Where is the wedding? We're going to get married at the courthouse. Ah. She should wear a wedding dress at the courthouse. I figured maybe I'd give her that one thing. I want to do like that. Selena, you know that most of our dresses are and in your budget. No, let's go then. People come in the day they're getting married and want a gown. Without any time to waste, Lori takes charge of the wedding party, leading them to the racks with a single-minded determination to streamline the process and get the job done with no delay. Surprisingly, Selena Falkenstein is not giving her stylist Lori or herself a hard time during her fitting. She knows exactly what she wants to try on. But unfortunately, the dresses have a mind of their own and the sizes are not in her favor. Thankfully, fate intervenes and Selena is presented with her mother's pick, a stylish dress but not necessarily her personal preference. Uncertain about whether to commit to the dress or not, Selena places it in the maybe pile. However, as it's the only gown that fits her, Selena may have to wear it down the aisle. So let's come in here and start looking. But pressure? Form fitting. You got it, flaunt it. That's kind of goofy at the bottom. But my mother is waiting. You're supposed to have a beautiful wedding gown. And we need to use our time wisely to find a dress that she loves. See you later. Right, we have pulled everything in her size in the sale room. We know your mother loved this poofy style, but... Some dresses just don't fit. I'm afraid it's not going to zip across her boobies. I'm on the second dress, and I'm having this same problem. Selena's mother, Yang, is ecstatic about the dress, but Selena isn't convinced and appears to be giving in to the pressure of fate and her mother's wishes. However, Lori, the stylist, is not one to compromise on a bride's wedding day and is determined to find Selena the perfect dress. After trying on various dresses, Selena Falkenstein finally finds the one with dress number nine. She falls in love with it instantly, despite her mother's hesitation about the dress being appropriate for her daughter to wear down the aisle. However, the addition of the mother-in-law's traditional veil makes all the difference, and the beautiful white cream creation becomes Selena's dream dress. The use of something borrowed adds to the specialness of the day. Selena's mother is also overcome with joy and shares in her daughter's beautiful moment, fully supporting her decision to wear dress number nine on her wedding day. Small, so we're gonna go one size up. It's absolutely gorgeous. It makes me feel classy, it makes me feel slim. I wanna say yes to it, but my mom feels that the dress she chose is with that. So mom, what do you think of this dress? The veil and the dress, it makes it very real. It's stunning, I love it. Selena looks like a real bride. So what are you saying to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress. Yay! Number one, time crunch. April, a 37-year-old from Woodpie, Ontario, is under a time crunch as she needs to find a wedding dress for her upcoming wedding in just six weeks. This short timeline is a daunting task for anyone to undertake, especially when waking up one day realizing you need a dress for the big day. However, Demetra, her stylist, is determined to assist the time-stressed bride and wedding party. Although April has simple tastes and a simple vision for her wedding day, she is not overly optimistic about finding the perfect dress to match her uncomplicated style. But with Dimitra by her side, she feels supported and hopeful that she can make her dreams come true. I'm 37 years old and I'm from Whitby, Ontario. Ah, who would you bring here with you? See me. Hi, nice to meet you. My good friend Jen. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. And my fiance's friend Sam. Hi. It's in six weeks. Okay. <laughs> what are we looking for? I'm very into flair. Okay. I like lace. I would like to stay under a thousand. So we're paying for the dress to be over the top, extravagant expense. My fiance's name is Jamie. Dimitra is a styling expert who is ready to take on any challenge thrown her way. She knows how to navigate the fashion industry and find the perfect dress for any occasion, even when time is limited. She is committed to helping April find the dress of her dreams no matter what it takes. With Demetra's expertise and support, April's search for the perfect dress is not a lost cause. She is determined to make her wedding day special and memorable, and with Demetra's help, she just might be able to find the dress that perfectly matches her vision. 
the stylist Dimitra presents dress number one to April, a stunning lace and chiffon creation by Madeline Gardner called Mori Lee. The dress features a beautifully fitted bodice adorned with intricate needlework and sparkling details. Can I see your ring? Yeah. Oh, so pretty. It was really nice that Jamie put me in front of his own needs. So I'm gonna go out there and do my best and bring you a few options. I'm okay. very nervous. I don't think I'm gonna find a dress at all. Amazing woman. So far, I have two. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make this happen. We have a very limited time. We have a really strict budget. Leading down to a softly flared and simple skirt. April likes the dress and thinks it's beautiful, but Dimitra knows that just liking a dress is not the goal. Despite the initial positive reception of dress number one, Dimitra knows that they can do better. She won't settle for good enough, as she knows that April deserves nothing less than perfection. They will continue their search until they find a dress that surpasses all expectations and perfectly matches April's simple yet elegant style. Dress number three, created by Maggie Sotero, features a beautifully fitted bodice with expert ruching and delicate lace embellishments in all the right places flowing down to the knees. The light and airy skirt with a short train trailing behind captures the hearts of the entire wedding party, making this an early favorite. However, the stylist Dimitra knows that finding the perfect dress requires careful consideration and attention to detail. Despite the early success with dress number three, Dimitra encourages April to try on a few more dresses before making her final decision. Dress number four has left April feeling conflicted and uncertain about her decision. In order to find clarity, she decides to revisit dress number three once again. To her relief, trying on the dress for a third time does the trick, and she finally knows without a doubt which dress belongs on her body. With her decision made, the wedding party is coming to a close, and the countdown to the big day begins, just six weeks away. I don't want to settle for something I don't love. I don't know if it does justice for my look. It's all about the process of elimination. This is what I always envisioned. I yeah. love the simplicity down here. I didn't think that she could bring me two dresses that I would love this much. You feel that this one matches what you envisioned more? I do like the corset back. If I have to pick, I might be leaning towards this one. When in doubt, try it on again. Strapless dress, take two. It's hard to contest this. I feel awesome. I don't know how Demetra pulled this off. It's okay. gorgeous. <laughs> That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.